Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to apply default transitions or transitions to your entire timeline at every single cut here. So I'll just show you what I got here. I got some st generic footage. This is some footage of me recording and then here's some footage of a mountain and a lake, etc. Let's see if I can load it here. It'll take a second. Um, just default footage. There we go. I want to put an audio and a video transition or a transition effect at every single point here. How do I do it? Very simple. Resist the urge to select everything. That isn't actually the way you do it. What you need to do is you need to hold down the command key if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a PC and then select everything. When you do that, you're going to see these nice little candy cane stripey things popping up. This is what we want hovering over it. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and you're going to see that I have the option to apply default transitions. When I do that it's going to say insufficient media etc etc contain repeated frames. Just ignore that. That just basically means that I can't there's no transition on the right side of some of these things because they start and stop a little different. So if I zoom in let's go to the beginning. Let's just go right to the start here. All right zooming in we have transitions at the beginning right here you'll see crossfade moving forward you're going to see crossfade constant power those are the default transitions for uh after for a premiere pro part of me and if you're not sure you can go to the effects panel up at the top here or the effects workspace and then just go to audio transitions drop that down you'll see here under crossfade that constant power is automatically selected under video transitions i've already got it open cross dissolve is automatically selected if you wanted to change the duration of those transitions while I got you, you just head up here to Premiere Pro and then you want to go to Preferences. This might be under File Preferences on the PC version, but you go to Preferences and then you can go in here and you can go to Timeline and you can change the default duration, the number of frames for your transitions, audio and seconds for your um, video. Pardon me, video is frames and audio is in seconds. But that's it, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Ton more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.